Welcome back to Hermitcraft. All right. Well, I have spent a bunch of time looking at this wall from various angles and uh, trying to think of ways I can improve things. And uh, I'm also thinking about the uh, input that several folks had in the comments last episode. I really appreciate that. Because even uh, if whatever it is is not exactly what I had in mind or doesn't fit what, I, what I'm going to end up doing, it's still very welcome and helpful because, uh, well, it just is. All right, let's uh, bust a hole right there. And let's run some ladders down here because I am not going to be continuing to just hop up on this thing uh, on stone pillars or whatever, you know, it's just not going to cut it. All right. As for the overall design of this thing, I think I need to do a little bit of rearranging here. And part of it is going to be to take some of this down and do it a little differently. I think I had the right idea with this, but not quite. It was close, but not quite A1, you know? All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off of here, just this top layer of the cobble, and let's stone this thing up like so. And... I already need a chest to throw junk into, so let me do that. All right, two of them. More temporary chests. There. Now I can pick stuff up when I break it. All right. Let's pull this off of here as well. Replace this top layer of cobble with smooth stone. I'll get to the that part of it. All right. Uh, yeah. Like so. All right now. I want to bring this out one block. Like so. All right, now. Something like this. I think might be better. Hmm. This part, the transition with the stairs is kind of bugging me. So let me do something here. Now how to transition this without it looking terrible. Um, if I put a full block here and a slab here, I don't think that's going to work. So let me try doing it from this end. Slab here. And then we have a full block there, slab there. That steps down a little bit better, I think. Yeah, I, I think that does. Get off of there. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure about the step down from one level to the next. And there's going to be a number of them, so I've got to get that figured out. But the rest of this, I think, is working a lot better, like this. 
And of course, these will all have to be changed out as well. Yeah. Okay, and we'll just continue this around like so. Oops, no, not you there. Here and there. Yeah. This is a lot more like it. Now, the total final solution for lighting, I don't know what that's going to be. Uh, work something out. But for the time being, I'm just going to torch it to have some light. And uh, one of the things that folks pointed out was that the inside of the wall does not need defensive arrangements like uh, the crenellations and such like this here uh, doesn't really need it and I'm not sure if maybe these need to be taller and uh, have something between them like maybe inverted stairs or something to well all right let's just do it once here and see uh, get some stairs uh, All right, just as an idea here. Something like that. I don't know. I don't like that for the complete inability to shoot, to see very much of it at all through it. And one of the ideas here is to have some visibility. Um, what about a slab? More visibility. Of course, this makes uh, whoever's standing here shooting a bigger target. But then again, I don't... Uh, and then, of course, how to handle the join between the... Uh, straight part and the circle of the tower. And, yeah, I could make it a... thing like that all the way around. I, I could make this a square tower, I suppose, but it doesn't quite suit. I don't know. I think for right now, I'm just going to go with this. Maybe that's lazy of me, but I haven't really spotted anything that quite exactly works for what I'm thinking about. I've got a picture in my head, mind you, and in my head it looks great. The trick is uh, getting it to transition from there to out here, where everybody can see it. Now, I'm going to break a temporary hole out here and have a look. And let's see. Actually, it should probably be there because I'm going to end up blocking this one off. All right. You know, that's another thing. This isn't as tall as I had imagined. I said I wanted it four blocks above the terrain. And this terrain was here when I did that. Oh, God, I hope I don't have to just tear all this out again and make it taller. But, uh... All right, now this would have to come out further out here. Because it needs to overhang. Because it does actually have one real purpose. And, uh... 
That is preventing spiders from being able to climb. But, uh, let's see. All right. We got some options here. Let's see. Something like this. Oh, man. That needs to be up a block higher. It just does. Either that or I have to go through here and take a layer off of the terrain. Which I won't hesitate to do. Okay, now, to what I was talking about, and cobble here, and over here, let's try it in uh, stone brick, something like that, okay, that was supposed to be stone, alright, so we've got it stone and stone brick, Now you know my ugly secret about filling the hole. I loaded it with cobblestone because I had a whole lot more than that and I took dirt. <laughs> okay, so we've got this here and we've got this one here. And then of course I could use cobblestone, but then it would vanish into the cobblestone behind it. So, I'm kind of leaning to the stone brick which is sort of good and sort of let's not go let's be careful not to go too crazy with it because stone brick while good sometimes has been done to death all right uh this has to be a short one because we're coming to a change in the height again and that means the terrain is going to have to change again as well. You are not invited. Look at you bobbing and weaving and dodging. What in the heck is this? I liked it better when you guys stood still. crying out loud. You believe this crap? Jeez. I deserve a whole lot more than a bone for that. Oy. Okay, now... Oh, for crying out loud. I am having a trouble even managing to place blocks correctly. And I got to deal with a skeleton on top of that. Jeez. Actually, I think they look better if I make them taller and make the wall a block higher. Yeah, I think so. Let me get in there and 
try a little bit of that. So if I just come in here and make this section of wall a little taller, and then the stone part of it would start, say, wait a minute. All right, we'll just use this bit of wall as an example. Never mind what's on this side of it. It's all subject to change. And then I come over here with the overhang. Think of this as wall design 101. And I'm the student. <laughs> Let's not make any mistakes here. Calling it Wall Design 101 does not mean I am teaching this sucker. <laughs> I'm getting it figured out. All right. With it like this, assuming there's an actual legitimate thing on the inside instead of what's really here. Let's get outside, have a look. That looks a whole lot more like what I had in mind. It really does. And these can be considered like supports or reinforcements of some kind. But really, that compared to this. This is... Yeah, sort of, kind of, you're in the right neighborhood. That's the right neighborhood. That is it right there. And uh, I am definitely going to have to make some adjustments to the wall, make it bigger, taller. And uh, take this change and move it all the way around. Because that gives me the room for that to look better. Because these being this short like that, it just doesn't work. Not really very good. I mean, I suppose it does. But tell me. Does that look a whole lot better? I think so. So, I'm going to have to do some uh, resizing of the wall to take this into account and to make that a thing all the way around there. Because I think it might make dealing with the rest of it a little easier. And I think maybe I need to do some landscaping here. And give myself a little bit more land to build on here. I like the idea that this comes out here in a sheer cliff like that. But uh, it's a little too sheer. A little too close to the edge, you know. So that needs to be worked on. And that's going to mean I'm going to have to find... Honestly, I need to find a place where it's going to be okay for me to just strip the place for dirt because that's the one thing i you believe it or not dirt is the one thing i'm running shortest on of course i suppose i could put up an advertisement somewhere about uh i'll buy your excess dirt <laughs> yeah that would be something okay the upshot of this is Got a little something that seems to want to be better. Oops. You, get back up there. All right. Yeah. So, if I take these stairs and just knock those off. just 
slam them all along here in the correct orientation. with the correct spacing, which I'm having to take from that one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think that looks better. change that out for cobblestone and then basically I just need to uh, tear out this floor that I put started putting in and raise it up a block but that's all right because I want it to be right as opposed to passable one of the things that uh, this whole thing is about is uh, a thing that I started trying to work on quite some time ago and that is the whole idea of becoming better at building overall because I have never been known as a great builder building great fantastic amazing things you know I'm aware of that but uh, I'm also thinking that change is a thing and that uh, things can do a lot better all right that looks better and it'll look even better when the floor is up here with it let's see Go ahead and throw some of it up. And I'll just cut the bottom layer out later. Yeah. So this has got the feel I was looking for from the inside. Well... Once that's taken care of, like so. And then up here, we have this. I'm thinking it looks pretty decent. And I like the way it looks on the outside a whole lot better. So, X, cut these out. Move them up. Whoa! And then proceed to fall off of it. <laughs> That's okay. Got stuff down here to do anyway. And before I could do too much more of this, I am going to have to, oh, it's this one that needs to be torn out, that layer. Just do a little bit to let myself know that's where I got to go. All right, and fill that in. Break all this tall grass. Now, Inside, I suppose I should probably go ahead and uh, set up some stairs and flooring. Maybe, possibly, the stairs and flooring on the inside could be spruce, perhaps. That might be a thing. Tear out all this grass and put in a spruce wood floor. I don't know. It might be too dark. It might be better to have spruce on the top and uh, oak on the bottom. 
or maybe just leave the oak on the top and put oak on the bottom or of course there is also birch I know a lot of people don't seem to care for birch but it's good anyway I know it doesn't seem like I did very much but uh, getting this thing figured out has been a huge step I think and uh, it, it is a huge step and uh, well if I say and uh, one more time somebody's gonna go what the heck are you talking about okay there was one other thing and I do agree with it the idea of having stone columns uh, or supports or whatever here on the sides of the tower and the idea of having the tower be taller go up higher than the rest of the wall uh, I agree with both and I want to do that the question is just a matter of uh, I think this particular tower I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to ship in some dirt and do some landscaping down there so there's a place for it to stand on and so and of course another thing I need to do I have got to do a lot of tree farming and I've got to pretty much stop doing all the random cutting that I've been doing on here. I've been cutting pretty much everything in the way of this, which I will continue to do. But there is a good bunch of it that uh, I have cleared lots. So I've got a line of trees growing over there uh, with a glass block uh, above them that is there specifically to keep them from growing very tall so that they don't turn into these huge mungus super trees that take forever and two weeks to cut down yeah so i got a i think i've got a better start at this now and uh i think next time you see it it will look a little bit better and uh, be a little bit more in mind of what the vision i have for this is got a good vision for it just got to figure out how to translate that into uh, actual blocks yeah so I'm gonna work on that get a shipment of dirt in here one way or the other do some landscaping around the tower here and get some work done here so that next episode you can actually see some stuff having changed from last time to this time or from this time to next time, whatever. You know what I mean. In any event, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.